Hello, everybody. Guess what we're going to talk about? Yes, we're going to talk about what happened yesterday when myself, Harvey Dino, Lord Clyde of Omar, and Skid Row Radio went into Stanford University's live webcast, live chat, on the subject of Fukushima. Now, I am going to relay to you exactly what I typed in <coughs> under my Girl on Film uh, account. I basically said on March 18th, uh, I, you know, I said I live uh, on the coast, Pacific Coast, and on March 18th, I woke up and had um, tiredness and aching in my joints, and this lasted for about four to five days. Um, and even at the time, on March 18th, I literally thought it just was my disability, because my disability is my immune system is, well, how shall I say it, is not up to par like everybody else's, okay? So I didn't even put two and two together. I didn't even, I didn't even think that this could potentially, potentially, look it up, idiots, if you don't know what that word means, have anything to do with the radiation spreading over the Pacific Ocean and hitting the Pacific Coast. I had no idea until days later, days and days and days later. So that's what I put into the chat. And shortly after that, all my posts were erased and I was blocked by Stanford University. So I went back in there on my Sayal Palani account and I dared them to censor me again. Now, the video that Skid Row Radio made was just giving out information. That's all it was. Just like I was just giving information at this Stanford University live webcast on Fukushima. That's it. Just giving information. And what did you people do? You went and made drama. Bravo. I mean, it just shows me that, you know, you've probably got the capacity of a slug, okay? Seriously. Nobody's saying that this is the absolute cause of my symptoms on, that began on March 18th. No one is saying that. But I thought it was kind of strange that this wonderful bastion of you know, sharing information and knowledge such as Stanford University would pull such a stunt. So, for days and days and days after, when I had no idea, I mean, I had no idea that this could potentially be the reason, I finally you know, started watching, you know, different videos and understanding that, you know, the information out of Japan is indeed being censored. And I looked it up for myself and I thought, you know, wow, this could potentially be what happened when I woke up on March 18th feeling that way. And there's a video in my favorites and I was going to make a video about this days and days and days ago to explain what I had experienced. But I knew that the morons that have now come out of the woodwork attacking Skid Row Radio would come out of the woodwork and attack me. Because you people just can't handle simple information. You're too invested in your drama campaigns. I mean, fucking most of you have drama channels purposely to make drama. I mean, how pathetic is that? So I refrained from telling my story to anybody. In fact, I'm going to put the link to the talk last week in Montreal about Fukushima. What I was actually going to do was I was going to relay my experience and attach that video onto the end of it. But again, I had a feeling that because it's me and because you guys are idiots and because you can't handle information, 
that you do exactly what you just did now to Skid Row Radio, which is just make a bunch of drama videos acting like you know it all and this and that and, and just, you know, making your drama. So I didn't do it. But last night when I went into Stanford and I spoke in very medical terms, it's not like I went in there going, yeah, this and that and I'm fucking, I'm irradiated. I didn't say anything like that. I was very clinical in my description of what happened to me on March 18th and continued for the next four or five days. I just gave out simple fact I mean, of what I experienced. It seemed kind of strange to me that that would happen. And so I talked to, you know, they, my friends were in there, they witnessed this live, okay? And, you know, Skid Row Radio and I talked about it. And I said, uh, he said, I, you know, I really think this needs to be out there. And I said, I think it needs to be out there too. And I explained to him why, you know, I didn't come forward earlier with what I felt on that day and, and what happened to me. Um, because I knew what was going to happen. And he said, no, but I think it's important that the information is out there. So I agreed. And I sat on Skype and I told him exactly what happened to me. Now, if you people have any kind of intelligence whatsoever, which I doubt it with the way that you handled, you know, just a simple information video, you're probably not going to handle this one any better either. I mean, you know, like I said, I, I feel like I'm dealing with people that fucking the IQ of a slug. But those are the facts. That's the experience I had. Whether it was radiation or not, nobody knows. Nobody knows. But it was important that it got out. So now that it's out there, I'm going to put a link to the conference in Montreal that happened just last week. I believe last week. And you can watch somebody who knows about nuclear power and nuclear power plants discuss this very subject and Fukushima and Chernobyl. And I also want to thank a few people while I'm here. Um, I know that you commented on Skid Row Radio's video and you actually listened to the information you took it serious enough to listen to it got that funk I know you and I are not on good terms but you commented wisely and I am very appreciative of that you didn't laugh it off wise monkey 888 same to you just a bitchy cancer a thank you to you as well and Pinochet 222 I know there's more of you but I was only able to look at the first page of comments this morning when I woke up on the video because Uj took it down. And he took it down because of the incredible amounts of drama that happened on the site whereby information can't even be passed on to you, of the, most of you idiots out there, without you making fucking endless drama about it.